This striking landscape by Lawson transformed a slice of English countryside into a poetic meditation on the beauty of spring. For this episode of Mindful Looking, we will explore this painting on several levels. First, I invite you to feast your eyes on this piece, taking it all in with a sense of wonder, letting your attention be caught by whatever feature is appealing to you. Meanwhile, allow your body to be relaxed, unclenching the jaw, releasing the shoulders down your back. Find the breath in your body, chest filling and emptying, belly inflating and deflating. As you find yourself tuning in ever more into your present moment sensory awareness, see if you can look with fresh eyes, scanning the scene as an explorer, looking for a detail that might be missed at first glance. Now quickly, pick one feature to focus on, don't overthink it, go with your gut. Keep your gaze there and use this as the focal point of your concentration. You may blink, but keep your eyes steady on the same location as you let all else fade to the background. It is just you, this image, in absolute stillness except for the gentle movement of your breath. If you notice your gaze shift, gently bring it back to your focal point. Notice the content of your mind, thoughts coming and going. There may be a sense of restlessness, a pull away from the emptiness of the here and now. Invite patience to stay with your intention, simply being with your focused gaze. Well then, rest your eyes for a moment and explore the entire painting again. The early spring blossoms and occasional sun patches in the dark, gloomy weather depict a typical spring in England. However, the style of the painting isn't typical at all. In fact, it went against accepted academic practice at that time, and probably explains why the Royal Academy rejected the painting when Lawson submitted it to their annual exhibition. So you may wonder, what is so ahead of its time in this painting? It was unusual at the time to paint a meticulously detailed foreground, here the flowers and the tree leaves, and a more broadly painted background, the meadow and the river in this painting. With that, I invite you now to play with the awareness of perspective. In this painting, Celebrating Spring, the artist created perspective of space so that you see the depth of the scene, with parts seeming close to you and other parts appearing far away in the distance. As you look at this painting, bring your attention to the plants that appear closest to you. Rest your eyes on the near details, exploring all the different shapes and colors with childlike curiosity. Notice if your eyes wander off the near focal point, and if so, bring them back to the foreground. Notice where your mind tends to go. Are you dwelling in the experience of beauty? Are you amused by the interplay of black and white? Honoring whatever comes up for you by relaxing into the rhythm of your breath. Then let your eyes shift to noticing what's in the middle of the picture. Although much of the canvas is filled with the intricate details of the foreground, the scene midway still offers some treasures. The bright white dove may catch your eyes first, and a mystical reflection of light hints at a river running through the middle. Notice the temptation to move your eyes elsewhere. 
and gently keep your razor-sharp focus on this midway fuzzier landscape. Again, notice where your mind tends to go. Are you interpreting? Are you bored? Are you drawn in by the shadows or the light? Did a mood come over you? Honoring your experience, whatever it may be, by taking a few nourishing, intentional breaths. Finally, allow your eyes to drift to the farthest part of the painting, all the way to the horizon where earth meets sky. Here the juxtaposition of dark and light are most prominent, yet the landscape is blurry. There's less precision to hang on to, and keeping your visual attention here may be the most challenging, as the abundance of intricate details may steal your attention now and then. Especially when looking at the white patch of cloud, it is almost as if you have to look through the green leaves in the foreground to keep your mindful eyes on the distant sky. Now reverse this and come back to looking at objects about midway from you. And now shift your gaze to the closest parts of the picture again. As you maintain your gaze here, notice the space of the front of your body, the part of your body you feel is closest to the painting. And as you move your attention in again to notice objects that are at the middle distance, Bring your awareness to the interior, middle space of your body. Now move your awareness to the far back part of the painting and in the same time to the back of your body. Let that concentration soften and bring your awareness back to your breathing. As you allow any tension in the body to release, open your awareness to the entire space, both your internal and the external landscape, taking in the painting as a whole, while maintaining an awareness of the depth of your body, including all aspects, the front, the middle, and the back of your body. And now as we are coming to the end of this meditation, take a moment to reflect on any emotional response that came up for you as you were looking at this piece. Maybe you were moved by the mystery of the gloomy dark shadows, or maybe you felt a sense of hope and rebirth. Noticing and honoring both the dark and light of your inner and outer landscapes. Allow whatever surfaces with a deep knowing that it is as it is meant to be right now. Breathing into that awareness of your truth. <laughs> 